Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine. We have Chalice over here. Today's vlog is going to be one of those, is it worth the purchase? And today's purchase, well not today, because I didn't purchase it today, but today's vlog is about a purchase I just bought a couple days ago. It's a portable washer and dryer. All right, so some of you may ask, why would you buy a portable washer and dryer? Uh, lots of reasons, okay? Um, main reasons are for people who are van dwellers or live in their RVs or go camping or live in a dorm or live in an apartment with no washer and dryer. Okay, I'm neither in any of those categories, but I still needed one and I'll tell you why. All right, well, this is my current big washer. And uh, as a housekeeper, I have to wash my rags every day. Well, guess what happened? It died. And you know what? I think I did a little too much wear and tear on my poor washer and dryer. Every day, I think that's a little much. So, hence the portable washer and dryer. And voila, there you go. I have it in my garage. And I have it all nice and hooked up and ready to go. I even have a little dolly because when I go to drain, I will just push it out there and let it drain down the gutter. And so I will show you how it works. First off, I was just going to show you the actual kind I have. I bought it through Amazon. It was about $90. So definitely uh, not too bad on the price. The instructions were very simple. So it just kind of shows you all the parts and then just tells you how to work with it. I just thought it was kind of funny showing little pictures of this guy. What not to do or you'll make him sad. Don't do that. So now let's go to do the wash. Okay, there's many places that you can put this, but you need to make sure it's near where you can drain because it will, you have to drain it once you're done with the, see this guy? You have to unhook it and it's gonna come down to the ground and then it's gonna drain. So you wanna put it where it can drain somewhere. So some places are the tub. I have it right up here, and since this is why I put it on this rollaway dolly, so I can roll it that way, and then the water will just run down. Uh, another way to have uh, to start it is they have a hose here, so a water inlet. So if you want to plug it into your sink, and if you needed hot water, or you do the old-fashioned way like me, and just fill up buckets of water and just pour it right in there. That works too. So you do, you put the clothes in there first, then you put the water in there, and then, or clothes, detergent, water, clothes, water, detergent, whatever it is, but it says to put the clothes in there first. That way you adjust the water amount to the clothes, because you want to make sure there's enough water in there, because this thing's going to agitate it, so. There we go. All right, so I added my rags in here, so now I'm going to do the water first and then I'm going to add a little bit of detergent. I don't want to go crazy on that. And also another thing you need to make sure is that this is either on the standard or the soft, not the drain. Because if it's on drain, the water that you put in here is going to drain down through that hose right there. The other cool thing is it does spin dry at the same time it does the wash. But you want to make sure, because you have to have it on drain at first when you do the spin dry because it's going to drain all the water that's spinning out and it's going to come out of here but once it starts to just trickle water you can put it to standard and you can start the wash and let it finish its spin dry and all the water will just go into the reservoir and dump out of here when you're ready for it Alrighty, I got the water in there I got the detergent now I'm gonna it's on standard so it's not gonna drain out and I'm gonna turn it on and you can actually do that you can open it and it'll run its wash and so you'll see how it It'll start turning different directions. I'll do that for the 15 minute timer that I have it on. This um, holds like a small to medium size load. You don't want to go too big because it'll just not agitate at all. I tried that and uh, it didn't work real well. But when it comes to the dryer, 
it's not going to hold all that you see in there. So I'm going to have to do it in increments, like maybe two or three spins. But you only spin it for a few minutes. It goes on a five-minute timer, and you can always redo it. But it works pretty good. I'll show you that when it's ready. So I've got 15 minutes. I'm going to walk away. Alrighty then. The timer has finished. Clothes are almost done. I have to go spin it and then go back in here for the rinse cycle. But I need to hit the drain. So I'm going to switch it over here. And then you're going to see it all coming out of this pipe right here. same time while you're doing that, you can go ahead and start putting the clothes in here. This little guy is the lid. You put him on top of the clothes. And you want to make sure you put the clothes in evenly or this whole thing shakes crazy. And trust me, I've already been there, done that, and uh, it's not fun. Or, well, maybe it is fun, but it's not, it's not pretty. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these in here, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so you see that I put about half in here. So I'm going to have to do this about two times, obviously. And I'm going to make sure I have it evenly distributed. Because like I said, it really shakes if you don't have it evenly distributed on there. This thing will not go if these are not closed, for safety reasons. All right, so and then you just put on the timer. And then you notice that it's slowly dripping now. It's almost at the end of the drain, but once I shut this on, there's going to be more water. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the spinner. That's spinning. You can see a lot of water coming out again. You see all the water? It's all the water that is spinning out for those clothes. But it's nice and smooth, nice and quiet. And it didn't shake crazy on me because I did it evenly. So always do that. Because literally this whole thing was shaking. And it was almost coming off this dolly because it was shaking that bad. And I can't imagine that being good for it, this little guy. By the way, speaking of power, and not that I was, but to turn the power on is just basically plugging it in. There is no power switch on and off. So as you have it plugged in, that means once you set these timers, it's going to start. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Well, I'm ready now. And as you notice, the spin timer is still going, but this will not spin if I have the door open. And I was already done spinning the clothes because I have to put them back in here for the rinse cycle, and I didn't want to do the full five minutes, so it's not a big deal. Okay, but this one will run with or without the door open or closed. This will run no matter what. This will stop automatically for, I'm assuming, safety hazards. So, now we're going to do the rinse, which is basically the same thing. I'm just going to put it for I don't know. I'm going to put it for that half time. So now it's going to do that. So the, this is the final, as far as the washing part, and then I just throw it through the spinner one more time. And I think I will run it longer in the spinning, so it spins it as dry as possible, and then I'll be done. And yes, it does dry pretty dry. I mean, it's still just slightly damp, but not, not really, not, not, not so bad. I was very impressed, actually. It's almost, oh, it just finished. Oh, no, nope, it's almost done. Yep, oh, it's done. It's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the old drain situation here. So gonna, there it goes. And one more time in the old spinner here. I'm going to let it spin longer because this is the final dry. So I don't have to let it air dry at all. But it does get pretty dang dry. I'm very, 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 very impressed. All right. It's a little bit, <laughs> this is how crazy it gets when it's not balanced and it's kind of funky that way, but that's all right. So that's the topper for that. And voila, I got my clean old rags. Of course, they're not brand new looking, so that's, but they're nice and clean for a reuse and they're pretty dang dry. They're just very, very slightly, slightly damp. Nothing you couldn't air dry for a few minutes. So there you go, guys. Okay, I am now done, but what I do is I just keep it stored with the lids open 
because I don't want it to have any kind of mildew or anything crazy like that. I want it to be completely dry the next time. And then I will unplug this so there's no power going on at all. Even though nothing's running, you never know. So I want to keep it nice and safe. The only thing it doesn't do with the dryer, it's not heated, it's just a spin dry. It's almost like one of those salad spinners. So it won't get the lint out, I noticed, if you had like a something that had a lot of lint on it. Um, that's the only negative about this. Other than that, this is perfect for those who just want to um, run a small load from time to time, or you don't have room for a real washer, big washer and dryer, or you don't have the money for it, or just for me, just to wash my rags because I don't want to wear and tear out the regular washer and dryer like I did. Bad idea, and this is perfect for it. So, is it worth the purchase? I would say definitely yes. Well, that sums it up. That is the portable washer and dryer. Look how small it is. See? It's so cute. $90 for that thing. And it does the job. So I don't have to run my other washer and dryer every day like I was. It's perfect. I use that one for my clothes and everything else. And this one for my rags every day when I come home from cleaning and I just, boom, done, in the garage. And I could just put them down there because that's where all my stuff is. It's perfect. There was different kinds on Amazon.com. So I just got this one because it was the super deal for $89.97 or something like that. But they range. Uh, I think the most expensive one I saw, I think, was $150. Um, I think they all work pretty decent. I've seen others on YouTube and pretty much did the exact same thing. Uh, same situation, spin dry thing. There's no heating thing at the end. I don't know. Pretty perfect for, for me, but I think it's really perfect to take if you're like in a dorm or in an apartment without a washer and dryer. I don't like going to laundromats or having to go to a shared washer and dryer room hoping that your, either your clothes don't get stolen or you have to keep checking it because someone else might want the washer and dryer, might throw yours into the, who knows, on the counter. I don't know. I've seen that happen before. No fun. So this does the trick. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Bye.